In the world of football history, there are stories that captivate the imagination and leave an indelible mark on the sport's legacy. One such story began with the tragic events in 1958, when Manchester United's Busby Babes faced a heart-wrenching disaster. As they set off on a journey that would impact the club's history, their plane made a fateful stop in Zemin, waiting only 10 minutes before taking to the skies. In those brief moments, destiny intervened, and the aircraft crashed claiming the lives of almost the entire squad. For years, the club struggled to recover, languishing in the lower ranks of the league, unable to recapture their former glory. But in 1963, a young prodigy from Northern Ireland, born into a deeply religious family, would step onto the scene and rewrite the script of Manchester United's history. George Best a promising student who seemed destined for a different path found himself irresistibly drawn to the beautiful game. Welcome to the channel and join us as we dive into the captivating story of George Best, a footballing icon whose brilliance was only matched by his inner demons. George Best was a footballing genius destined for greatness from the beginning. His prodigious talent was evident from a young age, and it didn't take long for the world to notice. Born on the 22nd of May in 1946, in the heart of Craigach, East Belfast, George Best was the first child of Richard Dickey Best and Anne Withers. Raised in the Free Presbyterian faith, his upbringing was steeped in tradition. His father, a member of the Orange Order, instilled a sense of pride in George from a young age, even having him carry the banner strings in their local Kragak Lodge. In the best household, the Orange Order held a special place. As George later noted in his autobiography, he was surrounded by a loving family, including four sisters, Carol, Barbara, Julie, and Grace, and a brother named Ian. At the tender age of 15, a United Scout named Bob Bishop sent a legendary telegram to the club's manager, Matt Busby, proclaiming, I think I found you a genius. And that's how George Best's journey with Manchester United began in 1961. He spent two years in the youth squads, honing his skills before making his dazzling first team debut in 1963. At just 17 years old, by 1965, he had become an indispensable part of the first team, playing a pivotal role in United's triumph in the first division title race against Leeds. But it wasn't always smooth sailing for George. Opposing defenders often resorted to rough tactics to stop his mesmerizing technical prowess. To counter this, Matt Busby organized grueling training sessions to toughen Best up and prepare him for these challenges. The year 1966 marked George Best's ascent to superstardom. He scored a stunning brace in the European Cup quarterfinal against Benfica, leaving Portuguese fans in awe of his footballing prowess. They dubbed him El Beetle in admiration. The following year, alongside fellow legends like Bobby Charlton and Dennis Law, Best led United to another first division title. The pinnacle of his career came in 1968 in the European Cup, when Manchester United defeated Real Madrid and finals again against Benfica. A crucial goal in extra time led to a 4-1 victory, making Manchester United champions of Europe. As the centerpiece of that triumphant United squad, Best was rightfully awarded the Ballon d'Or for European Footballer of the Year. A remarkable achievement at the age of 22. One historic moment that etched George Best's name in football history books was on the 7th of February, 1970, when he emulated Harold Hulse's feat from 59 years prior. George Best single-handedly scored six goals in one game for Manchester United, a legendary performance against Northampton Town. However, George Best's life was no longer that of a shy teenager who joined the club. With his trademark long hair, impeccable style, and rock star-like looks, Best became one of the world's finest celebrity footballers, capturing the attention of British tabloids. His extravagant lifestyle, characterized by late-night parties and excessive drinking, gradually overshadowed his footballing career. Over his final six seasons at United, the club faced a significant decline, failing to secure any major trophies due to a lack of top-notch recruits. 
As George's passion for football dwindled, he bid farewell to Manchester United in 1974, leaving an incredible legacy with 179 goals from 470 appearances in all competitions. After bidding farewell to Manchester United, George Best embarked on a whirlwind journey across various smaller clubs around the globe. He was a football nomad, never staying put for over a few seasons. These later chapters of his career were marked by incidents that added to his legend. For instance, during his time with Hibernian, Best was in an epic drinking session with the French rugby team, creating headlines and tales that would endure. George continued to lace up his boots until 1983, two decades after he had begun his professional journey with United. On the international stage, he represented Northern Ireland in 37 matches and managed to net nine goals. Even today, many regard him as the greatest Northern Irish player to have graced the beautiful game. Unfortunately, as the years passed, George Bess's health was hit severely due to his ongoing battle with alcoholism. Even after his football career had ended, he remained a controversial figure wherever he went. In 2005, at the age of 59, George Best's life came to a tragic end as he succumbed to multiple organ failure. His story might serve as a cautionary tale about the perils of alcoholism to outsiders, but it's worth debating whether Best himself would have chosen a different path. He once famously quipped, I spent a lot of money on booze, birds, and fast cars. The rest I just squandered. On his deathbed, he was also reported to have stated, never die like me. In many ways, George Best was a complex and enigmatic figure whose legacy continues to spark debate and fascination. This brings us to the end of the story of one of the best footballers ever playing the game. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and share the video with other football fans.